it's the burner man back with burner talks and it seems like things are looking bad for zach levine before i get to what i mean it'd be greatly appreciated if you guys could hit that like button let's see if we can get to 10 likes before we get to 100 views on the video and also if you guys are new also consider subscribing because i'm going to be keeping you guys up to date on nba news but report the Chicago Bulls have been trying to offload Zach Levine by attaching a first round pick to him, but so far no teams have shown interest. There is no market for Zach Levine. They are trying to give him away and attach a first round pick, and I've been told that by multiple people via Bobby Marks of ESPN. When it comes to Zach Levine, the biggest thing with Zach Levine, he's not a bad player. He's a great player. But the biggest thing with him is his contract. Uh, if you guys don't know about his contract, um, this coming up year, 24-25 season, he's going to be owed $43 million. Uh, the 25-26 season is going to be owed $45 million. Then his final year of his contract, he's going to be owed $48 million per year. Um, when you got a big price tag like that, that price tag screams superstar. And no disrespect to Zach Levine, he is not a superstar. He is not a guy you can plug into any team that's going to automatically get you 40 wins and at least get you to the playoffs. He's not that type of guy. Um, he's not a game changer in that aspect. He's going to take a lot of bad shots and just not going to be that kind of player, that kind of difference maker. Like I said, no disrespect to him. So I think that's the biggest reason that they can't unload his contract. I don't know what Chicago was doing with giving this guy this big contract like that. I mean, I kind of get why they gave him this contract. I'm not going to lie. Zach Levine has had some great years. Um, he had some great years in Chicago, but uh, with the emergence of Kobe White and all those, all those guys, um, they're just a lot cheaper. They're a lot cheaper, and you know, a lot of them, them years, Zach Levine, you're playing like with no care in the world. You're not having to really play team ball, so it kind of reminds me of like a Kevin Love back in the day. Yeah, yeah, your stats look amazing, but they should look amazing when you're playing with a lot of garbage. You know, so not saying. Kevin Love is a bad player because he's not, and not saying that Zach Levine is a black is a bad player because he's not all he's not either. But my biggest thing when I'm paying people that type of money is how good are you going to mesh with other players? You think about LeBron, you could pretty much put him in any system in his prime. You can put him in any system, and he's gonna strive. Then you have people like Victor Aladipo. You put him with. Well, Russell Westbrook, and he couldn't strive. Then he had to go get his own team with Indiana, and it was a whole different thing. You get you get what I'm saying? So that type of money, you should be able to mesh with damn near anybody and still be effective because that is superstar money. You are With that type of money, you are considered a – or you should be a superstar. But he's just not a game changer like that, and that's going to be their biggest problem, I think, with these guys. I mean, you're giving away – you're trying to give away Zach Levine and a first round, and people still aren't biting that's kind of bad. You might have to, to be honest, you might have to lose. They might have to just lose out on this um, t on this trade, you know what I'm saying? Just bite the bullet, just eat it. Just because, man, that's a big contract. You might have to go with somebody like, maybe like the Pistons. You know, give me Ivy and I give y'all a cut. I give you a couple first round picks, you know what I'm saying? Or something like that and just take the L. Just anything, bro, to, if, to unload on this contract. Because this contract is crazy, man. This, this screams superstar contract. Like I said, um... Yeah, nobody's gonna bite. It's crazy that the Lakers were looking at trying to bite on this. That was this contract is bad. I didn't know this contract. His contract was this bad. We're just gonna have to see over the next couple of months what they can do with this Zach Levine thing. But I don't know what they could do. You guys, let me know. Uh, what would you do if you were the Chicago Bulls trying to get rid of Zach Levine? Because I don't know. This is a, pretty much a tight situation for them. Do you think Zach Levine is worth his contract? Uh, would you trade him if you would trade him? How would you trade him? Uh, again, don't forget to like up the video and subscribe if you're new because I'm going to be keeping you guys up to date on NBA news all year long. And y'all already know who it is.